So this is the iPhone 5S, released way back in 2013 and called as the father of the iPhone 12, to which I recently upgraded. Still works well except the battery, as we know it had a touch ID to unlock the phone and the control center was accessible from the bottom, which is the better way in my opinion. There are some proximity issues connecting to the Wi-Fi router after all these years. However, the best part about it, the compact nature of this small phone to sit tight in my palm. Talking about the charger, which we have to buy separately. Just pretty heavy compared to the original charging bit that came with the iPhone 5S. Yeah, although the whole save the environment agenda seems to be a gimmick by Apple for some extra revenue. We do have the cable with the USB Type-C side that goes into the charging brick and the Apple trademarked lightning side of it goes into the phone. This will be the last section shot on the iPhone 12 vertically until now. So let me open it up. small as ever so we have this small paper case inscribed with designed by apple in california it does contain the same ejector pin within it and an apple sticker now I have both the iphone 5s and the 12 together as we can see the design is very similar with the difference in size and the drastic reduction of the top and bottom bezels in the iPhone 12. The switch for the silent mode remains at the left. The bottom misses the 3.5 mm jack while the rest of it remains pretty much the same. The same slot remains at the right same as before. Now. The only change which we see is the positioning of the lock button which has also been the power button is different while it's at the top in the iPhone 5s in the iPhone 12 it sits at the right. So these are the physical similarities and changes between the two phones display wise the difference is clearly evident with the curved AMOLED at the corners the iPhone 12 marches way ahead in terms of the display quality. To be showing the handled experience, the iPhone 5S is compact enough to sit on my little finger and reaches until the top of my extended index finger. However, uh, it's not the case with the iPhone 12. I can only try operating in one hand but marginally misses out even with a full stretch. Yeah, this is how the front camera is so pretty good uh, lucky enough to be in a sunny place right now so with the sun behind focus on me is fine it's good i would say and uh, in terms of sunlight is from behind yeah this is how it changes so yeah pretty good so coming down to the final verdict design wise it feels renewed definitely the aluminium body makes it lightweight feels like it gives a strong grip in your hand although for some it could give a feeling of having sharp corners performance wise the apple a14 bionic is fast and responsive even at a low battery the display the 6.1 inches amoled one does a very good justice to the brand name of an apple device sound the speakers yes the stereo is really really good and also loud enough however the headphones or earphones uh, not really i would say if you're using a non-apple device as your main uh, sound device camera wise both the rear the main the wide angle and the front cameras are very good although in the night shots i would say 
not really like maybe as per your expectations that you can get from a pixel phone uh, video wise it's very very good uh, as you can hear in the same uh, in most other reviews battery wise a little disappointed i would say but not bad justifies the number that they have uh, 2775 mah overall would definitely recommend it uh, that to now when the price is reduced However, if you do have more budget, rather opt for the iPhone 13, which has an upgraded processor and camera and a better battery capacity. It's a tightly knit competition, I would say, with the Pixel 6, since the new Pixel is all about the Google phone. So expecting that phone to be better, except, of course, uh, the performance wise. And for an Apple lover looking for an upgrade, I would say it's the perfect phone right now at the perfect price. Thank you. Hope you liked the review and I was useful. See you next time.